right feed at the right moment will provide the optimal balance of nutrients for the best performance. We will take you through feed phases, feeders and feeder placements, feeding times. A chicken needs to feed to grow, meat, fat and feathers. Thus, feed is necessary for movement, maintain body temperature and reserves. When the chick is young, most of the nutrients are predominantly used for growth. Once the broiler has created body weight, the balance moves towards maintenance. Meat consists of 25% protein and approximately 75% water. Fat consists of 95% fat and approximately 5% water. It takes up to four times less feed to produce one kilogram of meat compared to one kilogram of fat. Most efficient growth is when the bird has a little maintenance and no fat deposition from 0 to 14 days. The least efficient growth phase is when the bud has a high maintenance and higher fat deposition from 28 to 42 days. It's extremely important to create growth capacity, intestinal development during the most important feed phase. Our pre-starter Galdus is designed to support intestinal development, contains especially adjusted components to support liver and intestinal health. Use Galdus pre-starter from 0 to 7 days unrestricted on pepper or feeding plates. From 7 up to day 14, the starter phase, starter feed contains protein for optimal growth and a little more energy for maintenance and further development. The starter phase. Starter feed contains protein for optimal growth and a little more energy for maintenance and further development. From day 28 up to slaughter, the buds start using more and more energy for maintenance and fat deposition. This causes a lower feed efficiency in the finisher phase compared to the starter phase. In our feed strategy, we follow the feed requirements for optimal performance. Therefore, it is very important to use the pre-starter Galdus in the pre-starter phase from 0 to 7 days, the starter feed in the starter phase from 7 to 14 days, the grower feed during the grower phase from 14 up till 28 days, the finisher feed during the finisher phase from day 28 up till slaughter. Make sure the number of feeders is sufficient for uniform growth. A chicken should not be farther away than 2 meters from a feeder. Calculate the number of feeders required for the number of buds based on the capacity of the feeders. Better to have 5 feeders, too many than 1 too few. An increased number of feeders will help to get uniform weight and increase feed efficiency. Keep in mind that the feed intake increases every day. Make sure by checking the feed, the capacity of the feeders is sufficient. Make sure to balance the placement of your feeders and drinkers to prevent unnecessary movement of the buds. Prevent feed waste by adjusting the heights of the feeders. Chickens like to scatter for feed which should be prevented when they eat from your feeders. Increasing the height prevents feed waste. Never overfill the feeders to prevent rodents. Make sure feed is available for 20 hours a day. If you use artificial light, turn it off for 4 hours per 24 hours. Directly after the light turns on again, feed and water should be available. Buds do not eat during darkness. Do not leave full feeders to prevent attraction of rodents. With the right feed at the right age, at the right time, you create an efficiently growing broiler providing high revenues. Would you like to know more about feeding strategies for your farm? Then go to the website. Our specialists are happy to help you.